Welcome back guys. So today, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, electronic countermeasures or ECM. So uh, shaft, flares, and the jammer. So let's get started. So we're going to click on mission. We'll go to harm test 2. And we'll click start. Okay. So if your threat is uh, radar, then quite simply it's going to launch shaft, which is a, just a bunch of tin foil. And if your threat is heat seeking, like a sidewinder or something like that, then it's going to launch flares. All right. And if it doesn't know, then it's going to launch both, I think. Anyways, let's get started. So we get airborne here. Now, this is the um, second or third time that I've tried this. So I'm a little confused myself, but we can muddle through it and we can get through it together and we'll try and keep it as bare bones as possible. So let's uh, take off here. Confirm that the landing gear's up because uh, I ran into an issue the other day where <laughs> the landing gear didn't go up. I tore everything apart. Anyways, okay, so let's get set up. Press backspace to get rid of the stick. Let's turn on our lights so we can see a little bit better. All right, zoom in. And we'll turn our early warning radar on. And what we want to do here is, in order for everything to start working, we have to first go to transmit, second click on. That means it's automatic. If it detects a threat, like if a missile if a missile is launched at us, it's going to either dispense shaft or flares depending on what the threat is. All right. Now none of this is going to work unless you press uh, master arm on. Okay, so so we've got everything done here. We've got master arm on. We've got everything set up uh, as far as ECM goes. All right. So the next thing we want to do is I want to test it out for you guys to, just to show you that it works. All right. Uh, right now it's on auto, so we're going to put it on bypass. So if you have a look over here, bypass, so we'll have to turn it turn it off and then turn it on to bypass again. And then the hotkeys for this are delta and echo. So let's try this out. Delta, that's flare uh, flares, yeah, and echo shaft. Perfect. Okay, so that works. So let's get into the nitty gritty. So press menu, press EW, press HUD to bring up uh, our threat, which is the fan song tracking radar right here. All right, press I. Oh, we can't lock it yet. I guess we're too far. Um, or actually, we can. The reason we can't is because. We haven't, uh, we haven't chosen our harm yet. Okay, so now we can lock it. Now it's boxed in, so it's it's locked. But there's no way that missile is going to uh, reach its de destination. We're just too far. But that's not the point. Right now, what we want to do is we want to get everything set up. So right now, we're at the point where we can dispense uh, flares and shaft by pressing Delta or Echo which is great and that's uh, pretty basic but we can also um, go through automatic programs so what we'll do here is we'll, uh, we'll go to let me see here now here's the thing if you have a look over here ALE 47 it's crossed out why it's crossed out, I don't know. Because we've got everything done. We've got every we've got master arm on. We've got uh, we've got it set to transmit. And this is a confusing part. So let's try doing a bit test and see if that works. Okay. Alright, that works pretty good. 
Alright. Let's what does this do? ASPGA off mode. So none of this works right now because this is crossed out and this is what I don't understand. So um it might be because we're on Ah, this is why. This is probably why. So let's have a look. Let's see what happens here. There we go. So it's going through uh, self-test, bit test, everything works. Once it goes standby, it means that the system is ready. Great. So now it's on standby. And what we can do is we can play around with the different modes. So I'll show you how this works. Uh, let's press mode. We have manual one. Manual. We have semi-auto. And semi-auto is pretty cool because you press, uh, you can link it to a button um, or to a hotkey or a button on your stick. And what it'll do is it'll dispense either shaft or players depending on the threat, which is kind of cool. All right, and go auto, standby, manual one, auto, standby. OK, so manual one is what I want to look at right now. So let's have a look and see. So we light it up, so it's boxed. And then we click on step, manual two, manual three, manual four, and manual 5 and back to manual 1. So I'll show you how this works. Uh, you click on arm here and it tells you. So on manual 1 it goes, it will dispense one shaft, one flare and repeat this 10 times at an interval of one, per, uh, of one shot per second. So every second it'll do it. Um, manual 2, one shaft, one flares repeat it 10 times every half second and then manual 3 2 shaft 2 flares repeat it 5 times every, every 1 second so you get how that works all right now here's the thing is you can change it so let's go to manual 1 and change this a little bit here's how you change it sorry I'm getting jittery okay so here's how you change it you press uh, let's say you wanted to change a shaft you want it to dispense um, three shaft and just one flare so click on shaft increase this to three and then you click save I guess that's manual one so let's see if that does save it so manual two manual three four five yes it saved it okay great so that's that's how you uh, that's how you program it okay so that's what it's going to do so let's see if we can test this out um, but I don't like to uh, I personally don't like this setup at all all right what I like is I personally like manual 2 okay RTN means return so we'll go back to the early warning radar by pressing return RTN um, and manual two will will uh, launch shaft and flares, repeat it ten times, and do this every half second. I like half seconds versus every second. Every second, I find uh, I'm not too comfortable with that. All right. So we've got it on, meaning it's automatic. We're going to turn in towards our threat. We're at twenty nine thousand feet. Let's uh, increase our speed a little bit because we're kind of uh, slowing down too much, and we might stall out. All right, and we are ready to rock. Now, the threat is pretty far away from us, so I don't want to launch just yet, and it hasn't even picked us up. All right, so we're going to hear the tones that it's uh, picking us up, and once we uh, hear those tones, we'll uh, we'll start uh, we'll start doing our pilot thing, whatever you know. Okay. So we're ready to go. All right, let's just 
See if we can turn into the thread a little bit more so it'll pick us up. And just to confirm, because this is DCS and, you know, if you're a noob, sometimes things happen and you're like, what the hell happened? So let's find out and see what's going on. Everything's quiet. Nothing's launched yet. I'm pressing F6. By the way, if you want to see what they're doing, you can press F7. You can you can zoom out and you can have a look at the whole thing. Okay? And pressing F7 again toggles through the uh, different ground threats. So let's go to back to F1. We're being tracked. Nothing's been launched yet. I'm pressing F6 to see if uh, any missiles are in the air. I just pressed it. There's one missile in the air. And and we're uh, I think we're close enough, so we can go ahead and launch our missile. So Magnum. No, nope, haven't launched anything yet. Oh, it's because we didn't press air to ground. So all right, here we go, Magnum. Done, and a second one, so we're not lopsided. I don't have to work with the trim. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's see if our... Oh, I got shot down. Oh, there you go, it works. Let's see what's going on with the harm, so we don't ruin this video. Basically. Now, at this point, the harms are still tracking. Because basically what the radar did was it said, here's the target, there it is, and now the harm's like, okay, now I know where the target is, thank you. And it flies off and it does its own thing. So it should take out the tracking radar. And it did not, but the second one did. Isn't that great? Look at me, spinning. Dead. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know what I can improve on uh, in the comment section so that uh, we can make these videos better. Woohoo! Alright, ciao for now!